How you doing? This is Jose Jimenez Jr. I am co-creator of Storyteller of Terror. Uh, my company is Cinematic.co. So, in Storyteller, uh, I want to talk today about the Nathan and Cindy scene. And I want to just show you some before and after, so you see the building of it. Okay, the scene here is Nathan and Cindy. They're walking in the woods, and they're going to be um, confronted by uh, Dominic Walker, who is the killer in the film. And there was a problem when it was originally recorded, you see. The audio of the original footage is extremely low. So all this section here that you see is the original audio. It is very low. So if I change the volume, I have to increase it about, let's say, 10 decibels. And as you can see, the audio is still very low here, and then it's extremely high here. So there was a lot of challenges in compressing. So here it is. Okay, so as you can see, you can barely hear it. You actually hear the buzzing on this cheap microphone I'm using. I'm doing this not in my studio right now. I'm actually doing this on a little laptop. That's why you hear that noise off of my mic. But, um... As you can see in the, the film, I don't hear anything. the challenge here is going to be to get the audio all straight. And at the same time, the scene looks like it's uh, a summer day. It's all bright and green, and everything looks fantastic. So now what I did next is to change that. So now here's the modified scene. On this one, as you can see, now it doesn't look like it's just a summer day. It's starting to look more like a creepy forest. I've done some desaturation, there's gamma modifications, curves. Uh, one additional issue that I had to deal with was that they had placed a lavalier mic on Nathan, which had the stronger voice, and Cindy, who had the softer voice, did not have the microphone. So you'll hear uh, the mic actually rubbing on Nathan's clothes, and there was not much I could do about that. Here's a scene. Oh, no, I just... I think Dominic had something to do with those murders. You gotta let that go. I'm just really scared. I don't like being here. Fine. With me. So as you can see now, that, that was much better. Now, the following scene was where uh, the previous one just ended. And this is the raw footage. Now, in this particular scene, the camera was just moving everywhere. So I had to find a way to stabilize it. Um... And to do that, I, uh, there were several software you used to stabilize and track, but it just didn't really work well. So I actually ended up doing a manual stabilization, which requires you to actually pinpoint a place on the screen, shrink the actual um, view of the screen, and then move the f picture within it. It's, it's, a, it's hard to explain. Here is a scene... Now, notice how the camera is moving what? everywhere. The noise! I'd like, I would like it to oh, have a little more focus on the characters. Maybe you just to relax. Get a little more feel for their Maybe facial expressions. Talking. Safe. I'm just really scared. Just relax. And, uh, so now the next scene is with my pseudo stabilization. <laughs> what was that? What? The noise! I don't hear anything. They're still shaking, but you'll notice there's just a vibration relax. now in sections. Here you are, with see? With me, I told you. There's a vibration, Safe. but we keep some focus uh, within the scene. Relax. 